Toyota has experienced turmoil with the EV division lately. The CEO announced in late October that he would cancel his EV strategy after its BZ line essentially failed. They had several recall issues, cost too much, and needed to be more appealing. But there have been some developments and it seems Toyota is already making moves to re-enter the EV market after some significant changes. Join us as we dive into what the Toyota CEO has just revealed about their new strategy and how this could be a game changer for the Japanese brand. The largest car manufacturer in the world has developed a new technology that will change how power is delivered to the axles. Before fully understanding what they've just released, it's crucial to understand one thing about how an EV works what an e-axle is. An e-axle or e-drive combines an electric vehicle's gear, motor, and power control electronics. It controls how a vehicle manages energy stored in its battery and transforms it into power. It also helps recover energy lost in braking and returns it to the battery. The e-axle system uses a secondary motor and gearbox to deliver the power from the motor to the wheels more innovatively. This means that the motor can spin at a higher speed, which is more efficient, and the gearbox can be used to manage the torque going to the wheels. The new system is smaller, lighter, and more efficient than the previous version. It also can use regenerative braking to charge the battery. In other words, a well-designed e-axle maximizes a vehicle's power efficiency and acceleration and helps extend its driving range and smoothness. Reducing the cost of electric vehicle production and purchase price is one of the most significant advantages for any car manufacturer in a competitive EV market. The battery and e-axle are some of the most expensive components of an electric vehicle and therefore offer the most significant opportunity for cost savings. E-axle systems and batteries are where these companies can make the most significant efficiency gains and cost savings. In May, Blue Nexus Corporation, ASIN Corporation, and Denso Corporation announced a collaboration to develop an e-axle for Toyota's new battery electric vehicles. Blue's first e-axle achieved excellent dynamic performance and downsizing while also assisting vehicles in increasing their electric mileage. Blue was founded in April 2019 to create market-leading electric systems and driving modules. Blue seeks to advance the adoption of electric vehicles, contribute to the realization of a carbon-neutral society, and serve the demands of customers worldwide by uniting the strengths of ASIN, Denso, and Toyota in electrification. The electric drive module, called the E-axle, combines a motor, an inverter, and a transaxle. Three new models have been developed in collaboration with Blue, ASIN, and Denso. 150 kilowatt specification, front, and 80 kilowatt specifications, front and rear, have been produced for FWD vehicles. This device has achieved exceptional dynamic performance and high torque by boosting output density. The output density can be increased by employing simulations and technologies developed before to optimize cooling inside the e-axle, adapt heat management technology, and enhance double-sided cooling technology for inverter layers. Additionally, the best possible magnetic design of the motor, the joining technology to reduce coil ends, low viscosity oil for the e-axle, and loss reduction technologies like the new RC IGBT have all contributed to the achievement of top-tier electric mileage. Furthermore, the e-axle has been significantly reduced in size thanks to new technologies, which include a built-in design that integrates an inverter into the transaxle, a small motor, and an output shaft to close the gap between the shafts. The e-axle that will be positioned in the front of the vehicle has a shorter longitudinal length than the one that will be mounted in the rear, so the passenger and cargo compartment spaces can be expanded. Since the introduction of its first hybrid gearbox in 2004, ASIN has created and manufactured more than 5 million electric units. Meanwhile, Denso has developed and produced more than 20 million inverters since the launch of the first Prius in 1997. The three companies have created Blue's first e-axle using Blue's expertise in component optimization and modularization, as well as the company's flexibility to adapt a variety of vehicles, in addition to the expertise of ASIN and Denso. Blue, ASIN, and Denso will continue to create compact, highly effective, affordable products by combining their strengths and expertise. The companies will also help realize a society free of carbon emissions by installing their products through Blue in all kinds of electric vehicles. 
This e-axle or e-drive has become a competitive front, partly due to the pressure on manufacturers to lower the production costs of electric vehicles to make them comparable in price to standard gasoline vehicles. E-axle systems and batteries offer the industry the greatest potential for efficiency gains and cost savings. This e-axle can be loosely described as a transmission for Toyota's electric vehicles. The concept is a module that integrates the interior motor, axle, and inverter. There are different versions for each type of drivetrain. The end result is more than just a new technology for the sake of having one, but the e-axle also improves the driving dynamics of the vehicle in question. Also, it produces more torque than a more basic gearbox setup. In addition, you will get better mileage from your car. One of the reasons for these improvements is this module's excellent heat management capabilities. These work together with the developer's steps to cut down on energy losses in it. Apart from the high performance, it's also better for functionality as it produces more passenger and luggage space. The e-axle gained the spotlight when the new Toyota BZX4 was unveiled. Now, ASIN has announced plans to launch a small, medium, and large e-axle, realizing both high efficiency and compact size, as the second generation in 2025 during an expected rapid increase in demand for BEVs. They aim to cut the overall energy consumption of a vehicle, similar to the power consumption ratio or fuel efficiency of gas-powered cars, by 10% or more compared to the first generation using these new products. This entails making it possible to reduce the battery's capacity by 10%. These seemingly minor improvements provide vehicle users with many benefits. For example, a more electric economy may result in longer driving range, and a smaller battery may result in more interior room. They claim that the second generation has significantly lower dimensions than its competitors, a volume reduction of roughly 40%, enabling it to carry either more cargo or battery capacity. They're saying this small size is more of a mix between the second and third generation e-axle. They also claim that it will have more than doubled the power performance of competitors in the same output range and improved motor cooling technology. While this is in the works for 2025, they are also accelerating their efforts towards developing a third generation which should launch in 2027. For the third generation, they claim overwhelmingly high efficiency and small size achieved by redesigning the motor and gear train. These third generation e-axles will also be half the size of the first generation. The third generation e-axle will resemble a turbine engine or something you'd find on a fighter jet. It'll save a lot of space in the EVs that will be released in 2027. As a result, you'd be able to drive a smaller car much further. Additionally, this will ensure better battery capacity and improved aerodynamics. So, Toyota EVs may start to compete with all the other top dogs in the EV market by 2027. All companies are in an innovation race, so they may have attempted to clone Toyota's advances or come up with something that one-ups the Japanese brand. According to ASIN, we can boldly take on these new challenges because of the extensive knowledge and expertise we have accumulated over many years as a global manufacturer leader in the automobile industry. We seek to develop an unprecedented type of e-axle by utilizing gear, shaft, casing, and other technologies cultivated through the development of the automatic transmission and by strengthening collaboration with outside organizations. Utilizing their historically developed goods, knowledge, and methods, ASIN has been accelerating the electrification of cars as part of efforts to attain carbon neutrality. They're working hard to offer drive units for all kinds of vehicles, including hybrid electric vehicles, plug-in hybrid electric vehicles, BEVs and FCEVs, to quickly meet the needs of their clients throughout the globe. As we mentioned, ASIN sees e-axle for BEVs and FCEVs as a critical strategic product. They're currently working on the development of a third-generation e-axle, which will feature incredibly high efficiency, but in a much smaller size. All signs point to the fact that Toyota might be on its way to reclaiming its position as the king of all automakers. Still, of course, we'd have to wait and see how the whole situation plays out. These new technologies look very good on paper, but we have to wait and see how well they can perform when they finally roll out in 2025 and 2027. We genuinely appreciate it if you'd leave a like and consider subscribing so you're always in the loop for the latest EV, Ford, Toyota, and tech news.